and think about how often you have some type of technology on you. Mm -hmm. Your phone, yeah. your headphones, yeah. your Apple Watch. It's all a part of wearable technology, a movement that did not exist 10 years ago. Time Magazine may have put it best when it said the industry is growing so fast, the future will see us wearing technology on the outside and maybe on the inside in no time. Oh, wow. So just how far can wearable technology go and how close are we to flying to work with a jetpack anyway? The world of wearable technology is flying high above your Fitbits and AirPods. The Museum of Science and Industry's Wired to Wear exhibit is proof. There are some things that you'll see in the exhibit that haven't existed before. But to understand how the world's most innovative ideas ended up on the south side of Chicago, you have to start here, among the sketches and swatches. And we're kind of like buried away in a hidden corner of the museum right now, which I love. The brainchild of wearable technology happened in this room. So can you first just kind of tell me why do an exhibit on wearable technology? Where did that idea even come from? So we're very interested at the Museum of Science and Industry in um, what's happening in the world that's going to really change our daily lives, what's coming in the future. And there couldn't be anything more important to our daily lives than our clothing. Kathleen McCarthy is the museum's head curator. She handpicked every piece and improved every detail of the exhibit. A few years back, we started to see a lot of because of the changes in material science. You started seeing soft electronics, um, computers were shrinking, technology was getting cheaper and more available and easier to use, and so it was just inevitable that the designers, especially you know people that grew up with technology, were going to start adding that into their clothing. The changes are happening fast. Technology is evolving so quickly. McCarthy says an exhibit like this one would have been too late just a few years down the road. Is wearable technology going to be something that we all will have access to? Like I can buy my jetpack at Target in 10 years, or am I still going to have to have half a billion dollars <laughs> laying around to have access to it? I certainly hope that the jetpack will go down in price because I really, really want a jetpack. <laughs> okay. And most all technology does. And so 